but the transition to remote schooling uh, was hindered by a lack of access to technology needed to learn for many students. Kansas City kindergarten teacher Jennifer Christensen uh, describes the challenges in making e-learning equitable in her own words. To not have the ability to be with them face to face is devastating. Not every family is set up to have a parent at home that can do e-learning with their kid. If we just send videos home and expect parents to take on the brunt of the teaching at home, we're putting a huge burden on families, which is really not fair. There are families that are not able to communicate with us at all, whether that means a phone has been shut off, um, being out of work might mean that you can't pay your phone bill. If a family can't communicate with the teacher, we can't expect any learning from the teacher to be getting to the student. Schools are hubs for so many different things. We provide hot breakfast and lunch daily, and a lot of our kids stay after school for an after school program, and they get a hot meal in the late afternoon, early evening too. So that's three meals a day that kids could be missing out on because of school closures. So I think we have a long way to go in figuring out how to make things actually equitable. I, I don't think that we should not do remote learning, but I think we need to keep that in the forefront of our minds.